Yo, Yo, is this collision course like really? It's gotta happen really soon, yeah, or y'all gonna wait? It can't happen soon. Yeah. Why? Yeah, you see, Tay Rock and Hitman ain't battled till recently. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. It can't happen soon. And, 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 we on the we same we path. Same path. Like, it ain't, ain't no. It's no way we could just knock that out the way. And just for people listening, not only we had this talk even before people start that's bringing it up. They not already fact. hit each other up. Like, you know we gonna have to, that's a fact. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the respect there, past rap. I that's fuck with bro fact. outside this shit to the that's point where fact. we done, you know we got to, you know what yeah, I'm saying? But we both know he killing legends. I'm trying to kill that. We trying to beat to when the time we battle, everybody fact. like, yo, these the ain't top. Gotta, it ain't no question we the top two motherfuckers by the time we It can't happen soon. Like, there's no way it can happen soon. Nah, it's like, it's it like that's a Pacquiao Mayweather fight. You gotta, you gotta make that money yeah, off It's not being sold right. Not being promoted enough. It's too early. Not on a big enough card. All these things is being said about Twerk versus Geechee. But I'm going to start with something different because I'm a different type of nigga. As a blogger, as a battle rap fan, I look at things a little differently. And I feel like there's one element to this that hasn't been mentioned when you talk about the lead up to this battle. And that is the career of Tay Rock. Why is his career important when, when talking about this battle? I feel like it's a better look, it's a bigger look if Tay Rock is out here clearly getting wins. And let's be honest, when you face a certain level of competition, it is very difficult in, in the URL or any platform to get wins over certain names. They're just that good. And the reality of it is, overall, for the most part, the quote-unquote downfall or the decline of Tay Rock over the past couple of years is most notably the problem in my eyes. Now, me, I'm a real Baltimore nigga. From start to finish. I'm going to be that way till I fucking die. I do not turn on my team. I'm a real nigga. I don't have no, oh, my other team. I don't have no other team. It's the Orioles. It's the Ravens. And then it ain't shit else. Fuck out of here with everything else. Fuck your team. I'm that kind of fan. And being as that Tay Rock is from my town or at least close to or however you want to look at it. I rock with Tay Rock. Heavy. But I will admit when he lose. I will tell you when he win, in my opinion. I'm, I'm pretty right down the middle. But man, dog. These past couple years for Tay Rock, controversy-wise, they've been a struggle to get through, bro. Don't forget, we, we talking about Turk and Geechee here. Just follow me for a second. The decline of Tay Rock has just been... Ugh, you, <laughs> you literally got to coach yourself through... Whatever the fuck Tay Rock is going through at the moment. It's like, it's like, it's like if you see a homeless motherfucker on the street and he like, help me, help me. And you're like, oh, not my problem, bum, gotta go to work. Like, you just fucking, <laughs> you just go right past the bullshit. You know it's bad, but we just gonna walk right by it. You know what I'm saying? This, this tranny situation. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, fat boy, you don't got nothing to say about that? Uh, uh, I, uh, I wasn't there, I don't know. Like, the SMD shit? Like, fam, stop saying SMD. They killing you for this. Holding the door situation, you like, hey, it is the attributes of a gentleman. Like, whatever you got to say. No matter what happens with this nigga, is <laughs> this chain situation? Like, real niggas get chain snatched when niggas shit happens, cuz. Like, you just say whatever. Like, Surf's still fucking with him, so I guess I'm... Let's just keep rocking. Like, it's okay then if Surf's fucking with him. Like, whatever you gotta say. At the end of the day. <laughs> like, I'm just... I'm, I still rock with Tay Rock. Like, I'm gonna stay on the bus. I'm not getting off. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm still here. So it's like... It's just been so much shit that's been happening around his name that it kind of takes the flair out of what twerk versus Geechee should mean. And, you know, I'm not blaming Tay Rock 
I'm saying at least from my standpoint where I stand. Because you would like to think, okay, it's working Geechee battle. And obviously Geechee already battled Rock, but it still plays a significant part. And it's like, all right, well, if if Twerk beats Geechee, then he go see Tay Rock. Oh shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of them type of deals. But because Tay Rock to many people hasn't been winning in the last two years, although I disagree. They got him losing the goods. They got him losing to Pat State. They got him losing to Hitman. They got him losing to Suge. They got him losing to like you name it. They niggas up oh, Tay Rock lost. Up oh, lost again. Like that's just how it's been. So it's like the face of the URL, and I got a dark horse for this, so sit tight. When you start talking about the face of the URL, there's a lot that comes with that. I was just saying how many you were born in class. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Ain't that right? He was going to kill me. <laughs> and he said he was going to write the day of the battle. That's what he said. That's, that's what he said. said. I ain't knew that. He said he was going to kill me. my nigga right here, man. Two careers that started out so very promising, not identical in any way, but very promising for both, have taken two totally different paths. Totally. Let's start with Geechee Gotti. Geechee Gotti started out with, you know, he had a PG. Many people didn't know nothing about the shit, but it happened. And then you had the battle with Saint, you had the battle with Danny Myers, and so on and so forth. And after those couple of battles, I remember myself thinking, well, damn, did, did this nigga do a PG? My, like myself, a lot of people didn't even know he had already did one. You know what I'm saying? But his hype around his name, it just grew, like, overnight. And it was like, he, he's on this car. You know around the time when they was doing all the fucking... Um, Supreme Legacies and shit like that. Like, the legend of Geechee Gotti was building. Like, it was... The freight train was rolling. The steam was coming out. It was on fire. Like, he was smoking. And then you started seeing him on all these cards. Like, back to back to back. The demand was high. We couldn't get enough of these third rounds, my nigga. He was putting in pain. It was getting, it was getting serious out here. When you talked about Geechee Gotti and... Who he should battle. And we want to see him against the, the Calicos and the Verbs and the Hitmans and the, the Rum Nitties and the Geechees. I mean the Surfs. The, like, we wanted these battles badly. And you look at over these past two years. So not to mention he's one champion of the year. Potentially another one on the way. You look at the names that he has actually fucking battled. Whether it be... Tay Rock, Sue Surf, Glue Easy, fucking Rum Nitty, uh, uh, Arsenal, um, Shotgun Shug, just, the nigga has surfed, the nigga has stood in front of some fucking names, dog, and a lot of these names this nigga stood in front of, Ill Will, Av, a lot of niggas don't take battles like these back to back to fucking back. This nigga has stood in front of all these niggas, and whether you got him winning or losing, he was in that battle. Nobody has stood in front of Geechee, and I know for some niggas, oh, it was, Surf was a clear 30, a gentleman's 30, if you will. Nobody has really stood in front of Geechee, and it's been clear cut that he just flat out lost. Even if you got Surf beating him, it ain't like a flat out, like he just clear, oh, he just smoked this nigga. He didn't just smoke Geechee. If you got him winning, he edged every round, because Geechee fucking talked in that battle he talked good too he's been in all these fights bro jc my favorite battle rapper of period all time but gichi that's a different and bro he's a different nigga entirely like a different nigga like he was built from some other type of shit. Like the shit that he be saying, bro. And and battle rap, the most original nigga, period, that I've ever heard. Geechee is the most original nigga, bro. Like, you feel me? And it's certain, similar to like Gluezy. Cause Gluezy pulled bars from out of anywhere. This nigga Geechee do that, but it's like intensified. You know what I'm saying? And then him. And he's not so much as aggressive, which makes it even crazier because 
it's certain niggas that need, and you can have bars, right? And then you need something to back it up. You need believability, you need aggression, wordplay, whatever the case is. It's like Geechee don't need none of that shit, and he's a a whole battle rapper. Like He has all of it. He's consistent. He has been dominant. He has been overly effective. He has third rounds that come from only a place where Geechee can come from. Real nigga crip. Outside all that blue shit. On nutty. You know what I'm saying? All that good shit, bruh. The authenticity behind this nigga is just legit. And he comes with a certain fabric that you cannot teach. No matter how much you want to become a battle rapper. You don't have that Geechee feel if you're not where Geechee from. And he just is who he is. He a real humble nigga. He just, he, he's real like down to earth and he keep it, he keep it realistic. And he approachable. You see him on Twitter. You see him on interviews, talking to fans, interacting with people. He's just a real humble nigga. And it's somebody that you, you can respect, somebody that you can appreciate. And you know when you get a Geechee Gotti battle, you about to get three solid rounds. He's not going to shortchange you. He's going to give you his best, even if he's fucking tired. Even the battles, you go, oh, John, John, you look bad. He was tired. Like, nigga was tired. Nigga was jet lag. And even he'll tell you that's not an excuse. Geechee Gotti is just a winner. And when you start talking about the face of the URL, a lot of K-Rocks becoming the face of the URL stems from his consistency and his aggression and just smack labeling him the gunner and all of that shit. And I think that easily Geechee Gotti fits that mold. So when you talk about battling for the face, I think that without this battle, you could market Geechee easily as the face. Now let's turn to twerk. When you talk about marketing a nigga and being able to promote somebody, this nigga here, twerk, is somebody who should be easily the face of the URL. He should be, but he's not. And there is a, a laundry list of fucking reasons why he's not. So let's talk about some of this. You had the infamous red battle, and then you had the the Dougie battle, and you had the Glue Easy battle, and you had the, the QP battle, and then things just kind of started coming off the tracks now you can say it's because of the company he keeps or just when you a real street nigga and you really outside when you outside doing dirt let's just skip stop on the twerk for a second when you a real street nigga you outside doing dirt whether you selling drugs or you, you gun toting or you robbing niggas or you, you doing whatever you doing outside yeah you know i mean kick doors all that good shit bruh you know at some point jail is probably in your future or death is in your future or just trouble, just hard times. Niggas looking for you. you know I mean, the ops is on your neck, pause. Like, all that other shit is around the corner. So, even if that's not who he is necessarily now in his life, when you still have created problems for yourself, those type of things will just find you. Trouble will fucking find you. Whether it be not attending battles you was booked for quote unquote stealing deposits you know ducking battles you know, punching niggas that you think is another nigga having something happen to your vehicle outside of an event um just the dog just a long list of controversy and then when it comes to his battles let's look at this i don't know if y'all paying attention to this with twerk battles, there is always something. Go down the list, and I'm sure I'm going to miss some, but just off the top of my head, bro. The DNA battle at Summer Madness. That didn't go well. The Calico battle. You gave us two rounds, and then here comes T-Top. Oh, fuck it. I'm out of here. You got the John John battle. Well, I'm going to give you two rounds of greatness, and then... Here comes Jack Boy. Fuck that up. You got the Aver battle where Nia choked in the first round, and but he still gave you this epic third. Like, just go down the list of twerk battles 
and look at all the shit that has happened in all his battles for a majority. It's just always something. And for somebody who has had the connection to a Drake, a CeeLo, a fucking NBA players, and Chris Brown, like, he's been mentioned in places that other battle, battle rappers could only fucking dream of being mentioned. And he hasn't been able to capitalize on it. Let's look at this for example, right? You got BET event, right? Where the got T Top, DNA, Suge, and Geechee, right? Now Geechee, because of who he is, as young as he is in this game, was able to be placed in that situation. Now I don't know what the selection process was, so don't hold me to this. But you don't think URL would love to have put twerk on that stage. In his career, he has not been reliable. In his career, he has not been trustworthy. Somebody you can count on to get, to deliver his material. Right? This event was held the day before the lockdown card. Somebody who writes rounds in the parking lot don't even respect his opponent enough to write days in advance. I'm going to write these rounds on a parking lot. You don't think he could have came up with some rounds within a day and went up on that BET stage and knocked that shit out? It ain't that he ain't capable of it, but do you trust him to get it done and it looks good on stage without him choking or doing some shit that's going to go, ah, that didn't look good. You want trusted names that you know will deliver. Now, I know you can make the argument that time to time, Suge has that issue. But that's besides the point. The point I'm trying to make is... You know that twerk, his intensity, that level of energy, his his his, his lyricism, all that. You don't think URL wants to brand that whole element of twerk and market it as their face. They would love to, but you can't rely on the nigga. I'm not saying this to belittle him. I'm talking about the direction of his career. And when you start talking about the face of the URL and this battle is being marketed as who's going to be the new face of the new generation, the new URL and all that shit. How is this a battle for that? How? Now, I'm not saying that even if Turk wins, that is not down the line for him to still become the face of the URL. But with Tayrod's career going the way that it has gone as of the last couple years and with Twerk's career going the direction that it has gone, I think, in my opinion, I think Geechee Gotti right now is just the face to a degree, to an extent, at least for the new era. You know what I'm saying? But let's look at it like this. In this battle, you got so many different angles on both sides. Geechee can talk about Twerk's career and the stuff he's gone through in this battle rap culture, his time here. And Twerk can talk about, I don't know how coffee became an angle on Geechee. Somehow it just has. And niggas really use it in their rounds and score points off of it. And to some, you know, they ain't scoring no points. But to many, yeah, niggas are scoring points. Sand shit versus Geechee about Coffee Brown. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Coffee. Um... There's just a lot of things they can go back and forth with. Obviously, one is a blood, one is a crip. That element is there. And the one thing, I didn't forget a particular name about the battles that uh, Twerk has had. I'm going to that right now. Um, the one thing that stands out to me is that more than anything, I think Twerk realizes that this battle is super significant. And I'm not saying that Geechee doesn't realize it. Twerk had a battle with Rum Nitty, and that's just another name that I left out purposely that he battled that something went wrong in that battle. And you can look back at the interviews and see the way that Twerk talks about the love he had for this battle and what it meant to him and the fact that it didn't go smoothly and get completed the way that he wanted it or Rum Nitty wanted it to finish. It really bothered him. It really fucks with him. 
you know. But by the time we came back, man, the energy was gone. Man. Right, right. Energy was gone. But again, man, y'all actually went. That's that battle would have went down like. Uh, Best battle in the fucking world, my nigga. That battle would have went down in history. Was potentially the best battle of the year, at least, you know, and, and uh, a fucking classic. I'm mad as shit about it. And knowing that uh, to a lot of people, and definitely to him, as you can tell if you're paying attention, he realizes what this battle fucking means and the significance behind it. And I'm sure that he wants nothing more than to beat the shit out of Gishi Gotti. And he believes it. He's confident in the fact that he's going to beat Geechee. He has said it time and time again. And even under the caption of one of his latest posts on IG, he said, let's settle this once and for all. He knows what's on the line here. This is not a battle you should be prepping for in the parking lot. This ain't a battle you should be prepping for one or two days before. I hate the fact that Twerk really has all these battles lined up damn near every weekend leading up to this fucking battle. It seems like I would love it if he would take the time to just say, yo, I'm going to battle these niggas on another on another date. Let me get through this Geechee battle. This mean a lot to battle rap culture just in its entirety. And for me to not take this battle seriously enough to really write for this nigga and give a thousand percent would just be a discredit to everybody. And I can't let the culture down on this one. We depending on him to get through this battle with Geechee and make a classic out of it. We wanted that with him versus Rum Nitty and they were so fucking close. Just didn't happen. So you can see the fucking level of buildup that is surrounding this battle. End of the day, I'm going to say this. I got Twerk winning this battle 2-1 because... I think it's okay to believe in the potential. I know as many of people will say, oh, but Twerk hasn't won a lot of battles and Twerk jerseys, Twerk recycles, Twerk chokes. I understand all that. I'm not, I'm not ignoring all of that shit. I'm not looking at that as it's not a big deal. I think it's okay as a fan to believe in the potential of twerk and believe in the fact that at some point you're gonna put it all together for three rounds and give us what we know you capable of it's really disheartening as a fan listen this man is like beyond talented bro i've been harassing this nigga to drop his music for almost two years now and i understand that the music will show up when it's time for it to show up and he'll get to it at some point but like the man just talented. He funny, he entertaining, he got bars, he got delivery. And as far as winning the battle, I feel like his delivery is just overwhelming. What he can do with a bar, whether it's powerful or not, just the way he delivers it is way different than what Geechee does. Geechee shit is more like it's a punch in the gut if the bar is said the right way and you feel it with the conviction that Geechee delivers. But with twerk, just the delivery all in itself is enough sometimes. And that's the difference in the two. And I think that lyrically, twerk is just capable of doing so much more with his bars than what Geechee is doing. Geechee is not heavy on the angles. He had that approach with Tay Rock and it was very effective in that battle. And I'm hoping that he takes that same approach with twerk, that he able to make some angles work and give us something different than just punches. But I got Twerk winning 2-1. I hate to go against the low. I've been in my heart a nutty block crip for the longest now. Honorary member of the Crips. You heard? <laughs> so, at the end of the day, there's one person I want to name. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention this person before this shit closed out. And this person battled both of these niggas already. And... His rise and fall and rise again should be mentioned. We talking about the face of the URL. Chess's chess ability to turn his career around is nothing short of just fire, bro. It's just been fucking fire. And I want you to pay attention to the fact that slowly but surely, the names are beginning to filter in. Whether it be John John that he about to battle now. 
recently battled O-Red, battled Arse, battled Tay Rock already. The names are filtering in now. He is on a mission to battle K Sean. We all waiting for it. And I think that a dark horse is chess. I think that at some point, even though he already battled both of these niggas, you gotta start looking at chess. Listen, they they coming into battle rap, his claim to fame was that he was the future of battle rap. And we all believed it and we saw the promise behind it. And we thought that one day, Twerk would, uh, Chess would just start winning battles, and he would just be that nigga. The man is a master at the wordplay. The man is a master at the bars. And at such a young age, it's just like, fam, <laughs> who going to be left for him to battle by the time he's 25? Like, who going to still be around? So it's like, he stood in front of Hollow and Lux, not individually, but he's been on the stage with them. The man proved his worth, and he has just been on a tear. And I don't want niggas to forget about Chess. He's still out here, man, doing what it takes to be a marketable name in battle rap culture. And I commend him. I salute him for his turnaround. So, again, I got Twerk winning this battle. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. How do y'all feel about the buildup to Twerk versus Geechee coming up on his Genesis card? February 29th. Your man fat boy though. Signing the fuck out the same way I always do. Ain't nothing changed. I respect the culture and I advise you niggas to do the same. Hey yo, Posey. My motherfucking low. Take us home, cuz. Please don't unplug the game.